My name's Steve Nichols. I'm Professor of Cardiology at Monash University and the Director of the Victorian Heart Hospital. So Brooklyn is looking at the CTP inhibitor obicetrapib. CTP inhibitors have been uh, a very significant area of interest now for several decades, originally because of the idea that they might raise HDL cholesterol and that might be a good thing. Uh, the kind of the whole field has turned to more focus on their ability to lower LDL cholesterol. And so Brooklyn is a study of looking at the effects of obesetropib in patients with FH. We know that they have high levels of cholesterol, a preventable form of cardiovascular risk, but we also know that many patients with FH don't get to goal despite pretty good treatment. And so that's what we wanted to test here was would giving obesetropib to those patients achieve better LDL cholesterol lowering and get more people a goal. Obicetropib inhibits a factor called CTP or cholesterol ester transfer protein. That's a factor that's really important in shuffling different lipid factors amongst lipoproteins. We know that if you block CTP, you'll raise HDL cholesterol, but with the more potent CTP inhibitors, you'll lower LDL cholesterol and also lower LP little a. So there's potentially a range of benefits, particularly in terms of reducing the levels of those atherogenic lipid parameters. So Brooklyn's a phase three study, 354 patients with FH. Uh, they had to be uh, high cardiovascular risk. They had to have um, on stable, uh, good lipid lowering therapy. And they were randomized in a two to one fashion to treatment with obicetropib, uh, 10 milligrams or placebo for 52 weeks. Key findings was up to a 41.5% lowering of LDL cholesterol uh, with obicetropib on top of statins, ezetimibe and 50% of patients, and PCSK9 inhibitors are 20% of patients. So really good treated patients, we get an extra 40% lowering of LDL cholesterol 77% of patients get to a primary prevention LDL cholesterol target of 100 milligrams per deciliter or 2.6 millimoles per liter. 51% of patients get below 70 milligrams per deciliter uh, or 1.8 millimoles per liter. We saw significant reductions in triglycerides, non-HDL cholesterol. We saw an up to 54% reduction in levels of LP little a, and we saw really good safety and tolerability. So Brooklyn helps us in two ways. First of all, from an FH perspective, it shows that there are other therapies coming which can get many more FH patients to goal. So stay tuned from that perspective. From an obicetropib CETP perspective, what it tells us is it gives us more information about the lipid effects of this drug. Uh, that's gonna be really important as we now really move forward into a large cardiovascular outcome trial, which is currently underway, 9,000 patients fully enrolled. Um, and the question will be, will that type of degree of lipid lowering in terms of 40 plus percent lowering of LDL, 50 plus percent lowering of LP little a, lowering triglycerides, non-HDL cholesterol, will that translate to a reduction in cardiovascular risk? We hope that's the case, but we'll have to wait for the outcome trial to finish.